Welcome to Second Opinion, the review show here on the Nexus. I am your host, Ian R. Buck, and today I will be reviewing the Portland-designed works Ninja Pump. Find the show notes for this episode at thenexus.tv slash SO101. So, sometimes you gotta pump up your tires while you're out on the road. It sucks, but it's better than walking home. This frame pump uh, comes in at around $35. And we're going to start off today by talking about the versatility of this product, uh, because I think that this is probably one of its strongest suits. So this pump is compatible with both Presta and Schrader valves, uh, and it has a really clever mechanism for like establishing a seal with the tires valve. Um, When you think about pumps, usually you think of them as like you kind of jam it on there as, as uh, you know, securely as you can, and then there's like a little lever that you pull outwards to, you know, kind of establish that ceiling, lock it in place. Um, but for this Ninja Pump, what you do is it actually threads onto the stem itself. So you're literally like kind of placing it on the, the end of the stem and then uh, screwing on this, this, uh, this pump onto the the stem itself um, and that establishes like a really really good solid seal the other reason that i say that this uh is a very versatile pump is that it's it's not just a hand pump uh you can use it you know just to uh pump up pump up a tire with your own energy or it can be used as a co2 inflator so it's got uh, another spot on the end where you can screw in a co2 cartridge and uh, and then use that to inflate your tire. Um, I was a little bit puzzled when I saw this feature because, like, I don't know, CO2 cartridges. Don't you just kind of, like, slam them onto the end of the stem and then onto the valve and, and psh, they, like, fill it up? I don't know. I guess that this uh, helps to kind of facilitate that. It, it helps give you, like, a, a better more sure seal uh, between the CO2 cartridge and your your stem. So, I don't know. Seems like a cool, cool feature, um, especially since, like, I have been thinking about switching to using CO2 cartridges instead of a hand pump anyway. So, I, I feel like this will give me the best of both worlds, hopefully. In the size department, this is an extremely compact pump, um, and it comes with a holster that mounts uh, like alongside a water bottle cage. So it's uh, it's basically taking up no space on my bike whatsoever. I've never noticed the extra weight of having it on my frame. It's great. Um, I will say that the the handle is pretty short, so you don't get all that much air per stroke. Um, but even so. Uh, it doesn't take too long to get your tire up to a rideable pressure. Um, and when I say rideable, I don't mean like ideal. I just mean like the minimum viable pressure that uh, that you can get it up to in order to limp home. Supposedly this pump, uh, yeah, it can handle up to 100 PSI. Um, I don't know, you might be able to get up uh, to a decent pressure if you're using it as a CO2 inflator, but... Uh, Honestly, I wouldn't I wouldn't sit there using it as a hand pump all day just to get it up to, you know, your ideal tire pressure. Durability. This is another big strong suit for this pump. Um, it has fantastic build quality. It's an almost all metal body, makes it feel very, very solid and durable. Um, though, I guess if it's all metal, uh, I can imagine that this might not be a fun pump to use in the winter time. You know, you might kind of start freezing your fingers off by touching it. Um, but I mean, you're going to be wearing a gloves anyway, right? Uh, the fact that it threads onto the valve also gives me confidence that, like, that whole area of the pump will last for a long time. Um, this was my major problem with the uh, Pocket Rocket, which was my previous frame pump, is that the, like, kind of rubber seal uh, inside the the valve area of of the pump like degraded over time pretty significantly and it became really really hard to get like a proper seal from it uh uh during its its later later days and so that's why i ended up buying this pump is uh because well i just you know my my old pump wasn't uh doing a great job anymore and and i needed a new one and this one uh looked like it fit the bill 
So final thoughts. Yes, uh, definitely. I would recommend this pump. It's it's pretty uh, affordable. It's uh, it's very durable. It's very small. It's got a lot going for it. Um, and the fact that uh, yeah, you can use it either as a hand pump or to help facilitate. Uh, using CO2 cartridges, that's a pretty unique feature as well, uh, and something that I wouldn't have expected to see uh, at, at this price point. So yeah, definitely check this one out if you're in the market. Thanks for listening to this episode of Second Opinion. I have been your host, Ian R. Buck. You can find me on Twitter as Ian R. Buck. This episode of Second Opinion is released under a Creative Commons license, so feel free to use any or all of it as you see fit, as long as you link back to the original page, which once again is thenexus.tv slash SO101. If you have thoughts on frame pumps that you want to discuss with other listeners, you can do so on our subreddit at reddit.com slash r slash thenexustv. And if you are willing and able to help support us financially as we continue to make technology-focused podcasts here at the Nexus TV, you can join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash the Nexus TV. Until next time, have a good one. The Nexus. The Nexus. The Nexus TV. Podcasts from, from the, the Technological, technological Convergence. convergence.